Hello Matrix and welcome to the ninth video on Calculus brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video we will continue looking at cubic graphs. In example number four I give you a graph and I want you to determine the equation of it. Now notice one of your x-intercepts happens to be a turning point. So just remember what you do with that. I want you to pause the video, I want you to try it yourself, and then we will do it together. The x-intercept of minus 1 comes from a bracket x plus 1. The x-intercept of 2, because it is a turning point, comes from x minus 2 squared. And what I do is I put an a in front. Now they've given me the y-intercept. The y-intercept has a coordinate 0, minus 4. So what I do in place of x goes 0 and in place of y goes minus 4. And I solve for a. I now know that a is minus 1 so all that is left for me to do is to multiply out the brackets and get the equation of the graph. What I want you to do with example number 5 is I want you to pause the video, I want you to try it, and then we will do it together. 5.1 asks you to determine the equation of the tangent to f of x at the point x equals minus 1. In other words, what I want you to do is I want you to determine the equation of that line. You know that whenever you see the word tangent in calculus, you need to find the derivative. It's at the point x equals minus 1, so in place of x, put minus 1, and you get that the derivative when x is minus 1 is 3. Now, if x is minus 1, I need to get what my y value is, so you substitute minus 1 into the original function, and you get that when x is minus 1, y is minus 18. I've got the derivative to be 3, so that means that my tangent is y equals 3x plus c. In place of x goes minus 1, in place of y goes minus 18, and there's the equation of my tangent. Example number 5.2 asks you to determine the value of x where the tangent cuts the graph. Now, I found the equation of the tangent. That line continues, and there's a point where it cuts the graph over there. And that's what this question is asking you for. It touches the graph when x is minus 1, and the question wants to know where does it cut the graph. So what I do is I make the two equations equal. So I make the cubic equal to the tangent and I solve the cubic equation. I get two values of x. One of them is x is minus 1 which is there. The other one is x is 3 and that is the answer they want. In 5.3.1, I ask you where the derivative is less than or equal to naught. Now, the derivative is the gradient. So where is the gradient less than or equal to naught? Well, when the graph is decreasing. So where on this graph is it decreasing? It's there, and it's there. So what are these values of x over here? It's when x is less than minus 4 over 3, but at minus 4 over 3, the derivative is 0. And they asked you, where is the derivative less than or equal to 0? So it's when x is less than or equal to minus 4 over 3. The other part is over here. It's when x is greater than 2, but at 2, the derivative is 0. So I have the other answer is x is greater than or equal to 2. Now, 5.3.2 asks you, where is x 
times the derivative greater than naught. Now, if you want to get a positive answer, you know to take a plus times a plus or a minus times a minus. So what I want to know is where is x positive and the derivative positive? Or where is x negative and the derivative negative? So if I start off by taking negative values of x, in other words, I only consider the left-hand side of the y-axis. Where is my gradient negative? It's there. When x is less than minus 4 over 3. If I now consider the positive side of my graph, so where x is positive, in other words, to the right of the y-axis, where in that part of the graph is my gradient positive? It's positive there. What are my x values? Well, it's x is greater than 0, less than 2. So there's my answer. In the last example we're going to do, I want you to pause the video, I want you to try it yourself, and then we will do it together. The first question asks you, for which values of x is f of x increasing? Now this is exactly the same as saying where is the derivative positive. So my graph is increasing there, when x is less than minus 2, or there, when x is greater than a third. So that's my answer. In 6.2, for which values of x is the gradient of f of x equal to minus 8? Gradient means derivative. So find the derivative. I've told you that it's equal to minus 8. So make it equal to minus 8. Solve the trinomial, and you get those two values. And the two values one of them would be over there, and the other one would be somewhere there. So there are the two x values they wanted. In 6.3, they ask you to determine the equation of f of x, firstly, if it's translated four units down. Now, if I translate my graph four units down, the shape of the graph doesn't change at all. So your a, b, and c values do not change. The whole graph is shifted down four units. So what does my equation become? Well, instead of having minus 3 on the end, it has minus 7 on the end. 6.3.2, I ask you to reflect the graph in the x-axis. If I reflect a graph in the x-axis, the y values become minus y values. So all my coefficients change to the opposite sign. So there's that equation. 6.4, the last question. Write down the values of k for which the equation f of x is equal to k will have three distinct roots. Now this is f of x and this is the graph of y equals k. y equals k is a horizontal line. So what I'm asking you is where does f of x and a horizontal line cut in three different places. Now, a horizontal line could cut my graph once, it could cut it twice, it could cut it three times, three times. There it cuts it twice again, and below that it cuts it only once. So I want to know where does that horizontal line cut f of x in three different places? Well, it's from just below the turning point all the way down to just above the other turning point. In other words, when k is greater than minus 3,7,0, or less than 9. 
You should now understand how to do cubic graphs. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.